thankfully, because of my background in research and in publications, I've been able to really develop one, some wonderful relationships with European colleagues. And that those particular relationships really became very, very helpful and useful during the period of pandemic. Why? Because now there are, there are approximately eight different centers in the Europe and the UK in which we can freeze your sperm, perform the FDA testing, and that way we can transport the sperm over to us, therefore um, obviating the need for you to be able to, to have to come here. So you don't have to come to San Diego. We'd love to welcome you here uh, with open arms, but you don't have to. If, if travel restrictions are still in place, or if it's just easier for you to freeze your sperm in London, um, in Europe, then that's a service we offer as well during this period of pandemic. So that's one factor. We can also send you your genetic recessive mutation test kits. These are saliva test kits that we send to you to your own home address and you provide a saliva sputum sample and you send the um, genetics kits to one of the centers in the Netherlands um, and they process that in order to find out about your genetic mutations, your recessive mutations. Why? Because we want to ensure genetic compatibility with your egg donor. The other component of the pandemic is about this whole question about the vaccine. Should the vaccines be administered before embryo transfer, um, during pregnancy, is it safe? Does it have any effect on fertility? So with our colleagues in the American Society of Reproductive Medicine, the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, and the Royal College of uh, Obstetricians and Gynecologists in the UK, we've actually developed a protocol to be able to help you, guide you in regard to the questions that still linger in, in regards to the vaccine. There's some great vaccines, very effective, very safe, that have been developed over the course of the last uh, uh, year, really, in, in, in rapid fashion. Um, and we want to make sure that we educate you and guide you in regards to your surrogates vaccination, whether it's, uh, it should be done during pregnancy, is it better for it to be done before uh, we initiate the embryo transfer. So again, we want to be available to you. And this is going to be based on the latest research, latest, latest uh, academic uh, scientific studies. The obvious answer is yes. And I'm glad you included this because I know this whole process can be very stressful. I do feel that it's very important uh, with any professional service, there's always transparency with the cost of the service. So I do feel it's very important. I don't think medicine should be any different. At the Idaho Center for Reproductive Medicine, we have made a package deal to make it easier because our, our goal is to help people have a baby and, and, and we want this to be as easy as possible. And it, it, it can be easy, it can be very hard, but we can make this, the things we can control, we can make it easy. We actually have, uh, at the Idaho Center for Reproductive Medicine, we have package deals where it's a guarantee program until baby, and it includes the clinical services, it includes the, the cost for the egg donor, the cost for the egg donor medication, the egg donor insurance, it includes the cost for the gestational carrier screening and the gestational carrier medication. So as far as the whole clinical package, it makes it very transparent. And I do think it's very important. I, there's many things that you can't control and things you can, you should. That's our duty to help you. Interesting question. Um, my advice, if you're an international couple looking into service in the United States is to make sure the clinic you're working with, with has a lot of experience. There are many, many surrogate agencies in this country now. It seems like every surrogate who had a baby opens an agency. Many clinics are offering IVF to international couples to do third party parenting, but very few have experience with dealing with international couples. Uh, couples. So it's very, very important to ask a few questions. Number one, how many surrogacy cases has the clinic done over the last, let's say, five, ten years? And how many of those patients are actually international couples and not local uh, patients? Uh, 
Hi, my name is Guy Ringler, and I've been helping gay men to have babies uh, for the past 25 years. It's, it's flown by, but what's amazing that's happened over those past 25 years is the evolution of gay rights, um, the, so, the increased so, socialization of the world and acceptance of um, LGBT rights, and that includes the right to have a family. and. So in the United States, the process is very straightforward and it's very, it's a very available. We have wonderful surrogacy agencies um, to provide the surrogate mothers. We have egg donor agencies that provide the egg donor candidates. And we have some of the top IVF clinics in the world in the United States to provide our patients the highest quality of care. And um, over those two decades, um, many, men have shared the stories of building a family through egg donation. Like Sir Elton John, David Furness shared their story of building their family in a big Us Weekly magazine a couple of years ago. And it's important for us to share stories because it provides education and hope for individuals who think that, gee, I might want to have a baby someday. And it enables individuals to find out about the fertility treatments available today to help gay men have children of their own and build up families of their own.